Hello, goody two shoes. My name is Aubrey Rose. Welcome back to my channel. So, it has been a while since I've seen you guys again. I'm sorry about that. I feel like I did this in the last video. Like, sorry, it's been a while, but I'm back. Just kidding. I'm back again. <laughs> I'm back again. <laughs> anyway, uh, so September is over. It has been October for a little over a week now, almost two weeks. Yeah, and I've been very behind on videos. I've been meaning to make videos. Anyway, um, so September recap. Uh, this is going to be very quick. Don't worry. I read five books. I'm not going to do the reviews for each book, but if you would like to see the reviews and which books I've read during September, you can check out my Goodreads or my Instagram. Both will be linked in the description. But what I mostly wanted to talk about was a couple things that I learned about myself in September, so really just one thing specifically, and then just some like writing highs and lows. So in the month of September, I wrote about 37,000 words and I am very happy with that progress. I believe that I finished the first draft of book three in September that took a while to finish and so I'm still behind on writing work which is unfortunate and I've become even more behind but we'll get to that later so I didn't do any rewriting of book one like I would have wanted to or I did very minimal book one rewriting and yes so my highest word count day in September was almost 5,000 words and I also started a better more productive schedule but the thing that I learned about myself is that I I can only use new schedules for like two weeks before I get bored and uh, depressed and things like stop working. So I have come up with a plan for uh, October and November. Every two weeks I'm going to be doing like the I wrote like whomever for a day but instead I'm going to be using that schedule or that routine for two weeks. And then after the two weeks are up, I'm going to be switching to a different author's routine and then doing that for two weeks and then switching it up again. You get the point. And so hopefully I can be a little bit more productive uh, and continue that produ productivity by switching stuff around in my life because I like things to uh, change. I, I like change. And yeah so hopefully that will work the routine that i'm doing right now it's not as detailed in the writing department and it's kind of the way that i decided to do it i didn't put my writing time in a very good spot for my life but i only am doing this routine for like three more days so it's fine and then the next routine has a lot more writing work and a lot more writing work in the morning and so i think that will be better for me and i'm really excited also i'm going to start doing writing sprints on instagram real life writing sprints in the evenings next week so if you guys want to check that out Instagrams in the description and I'm very excited for it. It's gonna be more nighttime routines or nighttime So I think it's gonna be like seven to nine. Maybe not that. Ooh, maybe this isn't gonna work anymore We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know So yeah, writing schedules only work for a few weeks. That's what I, I learned about myself and I'm making it work and Yeah, so I missed a few days of writing. I don't think I missed too many but I still don't like when I miss days of writing but it wasn't terrible and I'm also not very good at keeping my writing time focused. Like I'm not good on focusing at writing during my writing time, which I just need to work on that. I did well for the first day or two, I think, but I just need to be more intentional and more focused with my writing time. Otherwise, what I want to get done is never going to get done. And I've seen a lot of that recently, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna work on it and get it back up to, yeah more more writing it is october and it that also means that it is preptober i am doing nano this year i'm so excited and um yeah so my nano goals i mean my preptober goals well also nano goals so preptober goals what i wanted to do was finish rewriting the first draft so like rewriting slash writing draft two of book one and then also um rewriting or writing draft two of book two 
in this month and I think I still can. I'm just gonna have to put a lot more effort into it and uh, yeah, write a lot more than, rewrite a lot more than just like two chapters a day, which was really nice and easy what I had before, but then I haven't been very good at actually doing the rewriting. And it's a little tricky because I haven't really done this before, but instead of like, doing it anyway and learning how to do it I've been avoiding it and procrastinating so yeah hopefully wish me luck tell me not to procrastinate if you ever see me on Instagram just be like hey shouldn't you be writing <laughs> um yeah and yeah and so then after I'm done rewriting so I'm gonna rewrite um book one and then I'm gonna rewrite book two as like my break from book one and then once I'm finished rewriting book two I want to revise book one and so the way that I have this I feel like I've said this before but I don't know if I actually posted a video or did anything about it so the way that I'm going to be doing revisions is I'm going to read through the book with a focus on plot and so then I'm going to fix all the plot things make sure there are no glaring plot holes hopefully um my brain will work for that make sure just that the plot is smooth and that everything works so there are no scenes that don't need to be there they don't help the plot and then the second um i'm going to read it through again with a focus on characters so then i'm going to revise the characters just make sure that they're all consistent that the character voices and their personalities come across the way that i want them to come across make sure that the parents actually have characters and aren't just like weird people that talk every once in a while because that's kind of what it feels like right now and yes so then character focus and then my last read through is just going to be like a copy edit i think just a line by line making sure that it's readable that there are minimal typos so that way my beta readers don't have to worry about all the typos hopefully when i send it to them after that after the copy edit i'm planning on sending it to beta readers so that's probably gonna end up being in november i wanted it to be in october i wanted to have done it already but i keep um pushing it back because I keep not doing what I'm supposed to be doing so uh yeah I'm going to work on it and yeah hopefully hopefully it'll all work out I have at least until the end of December but I really want to be done with everything by December so yes and then I'm also doing NaNoWriMo so I have Nano goals um so the projects that I'm going to be working on for Nano are not part of the first series that I've been working on, the friend group romance series. Um, and what I'm working on for NaNoWriMo is a series that I started, I want to say at the beginning of this year or maybe the end of last year. And this is sort of a parallel sci-fi, very soft sci-fi, a romance series so basically the world is a dating center and it's uh, not an interconnected series by characters like we see the same characters throughout the series it, they're just how different characters would react in this world and it feels a little bit like a dystopian world but they're not trying to take over the government so it's not a dystopian world anyway I hope it works out I'm working on book two and book four in that series. So book two is my Rebel Rhymo project. So I'm going to be, I've written 11,000 words of it already. So I'm going to be fixing up those 11,000 words, actually making it so that there's more of a first act because the way that I have it, there's like a chapter of a first act and then we jump straight into the new world. So I want to flesh out the first act a little bit and then just continue on with the second act, fix things a little bit because I was just pantsing it and so now I want to plot it out a little bit more. That's been a little bit difficult but I'll figure it out. And then the fourth book in this sci-fi series is my old school nano project. So this is one that I had some ideas for. I had more ideas than I thought that I did for it. I thought I just had the basic concept but I actually wrote some stuff down and my characters have names. I had no idea. So I am switching around the stuff in or that I've written already because I don't like it anymore but now what I'm trying to do is even more difficult and there's so many questions that I need to figure out to make the plot work but it's fine I'm having a lot of fun building the world and working on character worksheets and actually plotting the fourth book in this series I have never had so much I so many ideas in the plotting stage like normally I'm like okay well I have to fill out these scenes but I don't really know what's gonna happen in this story so I ended up just panting it and figuring it out as I go not this one. I've had so many ideas. I'm like, I know how it's going to end already or I have plot points and it's amazing. It has, 
I've gotten a little bit stuck on the first act things, just making sure that I answer all the questions, like kind of like what I was saying so that the plot works all the way through, but I'll figure it out. I've got time. And yes, so I am doing NaNoWriMo. That is what I'm doing for plotting. I mean, um, yeah, plotting and outlining nano prep. And it's been fun. I also haven't done as much as I would like to, but still got time. We're gonna make it work. And yeah, sorry, that was a lot of information. I think I just stuffed all of the videos that I wanted to do <laughs> in this one video. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you guys are doing nano. I love doing nano. This is going to be my third NaNoWriMo and I'm so excited. I love this time of year. I love, I love it all. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.